Yo, good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? This is your coach, Uncle Renz. And today I'm going to give you guys the master key to being able to change your relationship, but also to be able to change the rest of your life. I guarantee that if you come into an understanding of what I'm about to teach you and about to tell you about, that you will begin to make strides in your life that will change the outcome of the rest of your life. And especially if you and your partner can come to an agreement to work on this thing, to work through this issue that I'm about to tell you about, I guarantee you that the two of you come, will come into a mastermind situation where there is absolutely nothing in this world that you cannot accomplish nor have in your life. So if you're interested in being able to mastermind with your spouse or your significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, if you're interested in masterminding with them to be able to take on every challenge in the world, every challenge that you have, to be able to have and manifest everything in life that you, you desire, that you choose, then I implore you to listen to the next 10 minutes of this video. Now there is a process that happens in a relationship. We like to say that it's this process of becoming comfortable with one another. But the process of becoming comfortable has this downfall. It has this mode of operation that creates way more discontent than it really should. And yes, it should have never gotten there, but it has. And if it has, there is a way of changing it and getting out of that rut of being comfortable. You'll hear many people talk about how they get into a relationship and in the beginning it was great, it was awesome, they were so excited, but then things calmed down and they got into this mode of operation and it became a rut and now they're trying to, to change it and they, they talk to each other about it, they know what the problem is, they know what needs to be done in order to change the situation, but yet, for some strange reason, you just can't change it. It's kind of like a person who has bad financial habits no matter how much more money they begin to make. Somehow, some way, the money leaks out and they find themselves in the same financial situation that they were in when they made $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 or less than what they make today. What is going on? How is this happening? What is the problem? Why is it that when you are in the drugstore and you see that card that just says, I'm thinking about you, just making sure you had a great day. You see your phone and you say, I could just text her and say, I hope your day was great. I hope you're having a great day. Or I remember that blue dress that you wore three weeks ago. I thought you looked really good in that dress. I really like that. Why don't you wear that tonight and let's go out for dinner. When you have those thoughts, they come through your mind, but then you don't take action. Why do you not take action? You know that this is the thing that will make her happy. Why don't you take those actions? Why don't you buy the card? Why don't you take her out for dinner? Why don't you send her the compliments? Why don't you check on her? Why don't you make sure that you open her door? Why aren't you doing the things to show the care and consideration that she desires to have in her life? Why aren't you showing her the time and the affection that she desires in her life? You know that these are the things that she wants, but yet you continue to not do them. Why? that's going on why is it that he comes home and dinner is not ready he's been working hard all day and you know that he's going to be hungry you know he's going to need a moment to to decompress but yet you don't give it to him dinner's not ready and you're in his ear in his ear why is it that when he snuggles up next to you and he start begins to rub on you you reject and move his hand away you know that you haven't made love in two, three, four days. You know that he's feeling agitated and frustrated. You lie there next to him for the next 30 minutes just contemplating the fact that you know he's upset, you know he's frustrated, you know he's aggravated, but yet you rejected him when you know that he just wanted to make love to you and it may only last 10 minutes. I don't know your guy, but you don't know. It may only last 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, I don't know. But you know that what you just did is going to make the situation worse. And then you tell yourself that, well, tomorrow I'll be in a better mindset. Tomorrow I'll make sure I have the energy to be able to do it. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. You put it off just like he put off buying that card. You put it off. You don't do it. And you know it. You know what's the problem. What is this rut? Well, one of my favorite authors, Napoleon Hill, he called it hypnotic rhythm. 
Hypnotic rhythm is the process of you becoming hypnotized into a rut that is self-destructive in your life and yet you do it over and over. You begin to fall into the rhythm of not doing, the rhythm of not showing the love, not showing the consideration, not showing them the, 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 the help, the affection, not showing the intimacy. You get into this rhythm of denying him. You get into this rhythm of not opening her door and showing her that kind of honor. You get into these rhythms and they become hypnotic. You may have learned them from watching your parents. You may have learned them from talking to your friends. You may have learned them from watching television. You may have learned them from, you know, people. You may have learned them from any hundred million different sources. But the fact of the matter is you learned them and they became your habits. And even though you know that it's destructive, that it could cause the relationship to end, you can continue to do it. You know, if you had a child and that child jumped into the water and that child was drowning, you rec recognize the imminent danger of it. And so you will jump in the water, regardless of what you're wearing, regardless of what electronics are on you, you jump in the water because the immediate danger is there. But the problem with a relationship is that the immediate danger is not there. You discarded him today, but you know he's still coming home tomorrow. He's still gonna be there. He's gonna wake up next to you. But one day tomorrow comes and he's not there anymore. You don't show her the love and the attention. You don't talk to her. You don't listen to her. And you think, well, I'll listen to her tomorrow. And she'll be there next week. She'll be there next year. But then some other dude is listening to her. Some other guy is showing her the affection. And then some other guy wins her heart. It may not be immediate, but the danger is present. Fear may not be real, but danger is very real. And the more you stay in this hypnotic rhythm of self-destruction, of relationship destruction, the more and more the negative results that you don't want will become your reality. And how do we fix this? We fix this with the exact same thing. You see, earlier I said that hypnotic rhythm is destructive, but in actuality, hypnotic rhythm is neither positive nor negative. It is all what you do with it. You have to retrain your brain, retrain your energy, retrain your mindset, retrain your conditions to fit the rhythm that you desire to be in. You see, when you first met him or her, the rhythm that you guys fell into was exciting. You wanted to do things for each other. You wanted to be with each other. You wanted to show the honor, the courtesy, and all those sorts of things. You wanted to be intimate. You wanted to for him to touch you and rub on you. You wanted to take her out on dates and have her wear that blue dress wanted those things and you did them. You did them because you knew the results of that would be forming a union, a mastermind between the two of you that could foster an emotion called love, but yet you got into that rhythm. So a rhythm of, of a rut. So how do we change it? Do we change it by getting into that same new rhythm again? Now understand, just like a boat caught into a whirlpool, the amount of energy that it took to get in the whirlpool has to be double, triple, quadruple in order to get out of the whirlpool. You can't go and buy her the dress one time. You can't buy the card one time. You can't open the door one time. You can't do any of those things one time. You have to do it consistently. You know, when I owned a gym and I was a personal trainer, I used to tell my clients, in order for you to create a new habit, you have to do something consistent for 21 days. Well, in a relationship, you have to do something consistent for 90 days. 90 day of, days of consistency will begin, will begin to create a new hypnotic rhythm in your relationship. But here's the caveat. In a relationship, both parties have to participate. See, if I just wanted to change my health, I can do that on my own. If I just wanted to change my finances, I can do that on my own. If I just wanted to change my speech pattern, if I want to do anything that only dealt with me, I can do that on my own. But when I'm dealing with someone else, when I'm creating a new rhythm within our relationship, it takes both parties being in agreement. And this is one of the failings of when you go to counseling. You see, the counselor may tell you that if this is the type of lovemaking that he or she desires, 
then you both have to agree to that type of lovemaking and you both have to agree to do it consistently. You both have to agree to do it as often as humanly possible. This is why when I have been on and have seen many couples retreats, one of the things that they tell the couples is that for the next 30 days, you have to do something intimate, something sexually intimate for the next 30 days every day. Why? because it builds a brand new hypnotic rhythm in the relationship. And they tell you different things. Don't do the same thing over and over and over again in that regards, but you have to keep doing it. When you want to start a new lifestyle, you have to create a brand new budget. And in that budget, you have to be consistent for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days in order for it to take hold and that become your new lifestyle. You see that hypnotic rhythm? That's the thing that will save you. That's the thing that will save your relationship. That's the thing that will get you into a space where you're now back in love and you're rising in love with one another. It is that hypnotic rhythm. So you have to reverse your hypnotic rhythm, create the situation, the environment that will increase your hypnotic rhythm towards the direction that you're going into. In other words, vibrate on the pattern to move you up the polarity scale in the direction that you want to go. It's all alchemy. It's all alchemy becoming better, becoming better. So I hope that this has helped you guys. This is your coach, Uncle Renz. If you require any assistance, just contact me and we can make it happen.